Hey guys, Pix plays here, and since you guys loved the last video I did on like the top 10 Kanto Pokemon that should get Alolan forms, I decided why not do one on Johto as well and give the Johto region some love. And also, um, I am, so don't comment about this yet, but um, I'm pretty sure there aren't going to be Johto Alolan forms in Pokemon Sun and Moon, so um, I know that already, you don't have to comment about it. Uh, but I think it would be very cool if they did add them, and uh, I just thought since so many fans were making concept designs, why not go over them and count down the top 10 ones I thought would make the best picks in game. And also, uh, I took in a lot of your criticism on the last video, uh, how you said like my ranking was kind of unfair and it wasn't really that well done, so I tried to make it better this time and hopefully it works. Anyways, if you do enjoy this, please drop a like on it. We almost hit a thousand likes on the last video. I'm not gonna like set a like goal, but uh, it'd be awesome if you did like and subscribe if you're new. Anyways, let's dive right in. So with number 10, I'm going to go for an Alolan Pseudowoodo by Fatmon, um, not Fat, P-H-A-T-Mon, and uh, I like this design a lot, I think it's uh, very cool, I've, it's been a design that's been a lot, <laughs> been around for a while, I've seen it, I think I saw it like a month ago, um, but I don't think it's that special, but I think it'd be cool if this thing took on like a rock grass typing, because I think that was something that the original Pseudowoodo was kind of missing, but I think that it would work pretty well for this one. And also like how it has like coconuts in its palms and its head. Yeah, so that is number 10. Anyways, number 9 is an Alolan Apom by Just Some Fandom Fan. And uh, he actually did a um, Alolan Pseudowoodle as well, but I thought the first one was slightly more detailed. And this Alolan Apom is a fire normal type and I love this design because it looks very like uh, Tiki like you know like um how those how those masks or whatever how they have inscriptions on them how like the patterns go it looks very similar to what he is with like the closed eyes and everything and also he's holding a torch with his tail which is really cool as he becomes like a fire normal type and uh, his entire skin tone changes to like a more reddish brown color and I think it's a very very cool design. I also like how it has these little tufts of, uh, like, I don't, I don't know what to call it, like, red plant or something around its neck and its legs, and it just adds so much to it. Thinking back, I might have, like, should have ranked this higher, but I thought that number nine worked for this one. But yeah, it's an awesome design. Huge props to you, just some fandom fan. Anyways, let's go on to number eight which I think is going to be this Alolan um, Wooper. And there he did a Quackstar design too, but I don't really like the Quackstar that much because it doesn't change much. But this Alolan Wooper design, which would change into a Water Dragon type. And it kind of grows these gills on the sides of its head and uh, gains these little tufts of grass um, or like seaweed or something growing on it which makes sense for like a lot of fish have that and I think the direction they were going with this was to try to make Wooper look like an axolotl those like um really cool rare endangered um species that kind of look like I think they're they're called water dragons I'm not sure but I think some people call axolotls water dragons so it makes sense that it would have the water dragon typing and I think the Wooper does look very very cute as well um but uh, I don't know about the grass growing in its head. And for the Quagsire, there's like nothing different with him at all. So I thought I wouldn't really include that. But uh, yeah, overall, oh, I forgot to say, this is by Gart Delta. I might have said that already, but if I didn't, I'm super sorry. There you go, Gart Delta is the artist. Anyways, on to number seven, we have an Alolan Sun Flora by Castel Me which would be a grass psychic type. And this is kind of a really kooky, um, interesting design because it grows a bunch of extra heads and then it uses those heads as like propellers to fly up. And I thought this was a really funny design. So I was like, I am down for this. And I think I, I'd, I'd be like, I wouldn't even be surprised if Pokemon did something like this. I'd, I'd be excited if they did. I think it'd be a very, very um, interesting move. And uh, 
I'd, I'd definitely be down for it. So great job Castel Me for designing this Karas Psychic Alolan Sun Flora. Alright, so number 6 would be an Alolan Mantine done by Sonic Chaos 2012. And this thing is just a really, really cute design. I love it. I love the patterns on its back. I love like the corals kind of sticking out of its head and like the stuff coming from underneath. How it gets like three tails instead of just one. Uh, I think that's really, really cool. And uh, it turns into a water fairy type. And what's also interesting is if you look under the arms, those are actually wishy-washy. The, the like the little form, not the school form. Um, instead of being realm raids because it's like native to the Alolan region where there probably would be too many realm raids swimming around and I just think that's so so cool um, How he paid like that much attention to detail and I I'm so down for this design Anyways on to number five Which is going to be the only starter on this list because a lot of you guys were upset at me including starters last time because um, uh, you thought that they were a bit overrated and already got too much attention. So uh, I'm only doing one starter this time and not like all the starters, just one starter. And it would be an Alolan Totodile by Devil D Man. And uh, it would be a. He said it's just a dark type, but I think um, it would probably work better as a water dark type. And uh, yeah, I think it's a cute design. I couldn't find any really good designs for an Alolan Cyndaquil and a Alolan um, Chikorita. Um, the only Alolan Chikorita I found was just one of those like flower necklaces things around his neck. But um, I think that uh, this one is a pretty pretty decent Totodile and uh, I'd be down for something like this if it was like a water dark type and not just a pure dark type because that would be a little bit weird. But And I also didn't want to rank this one higher because a lot of you guys were upset that I ranked the stars at the top even though you guys thought they weren't the best designs. But uh, yeah, anyways, coming in at number four is a design I really, really like, which is an Alolan Hopip by Fario P. And this thing just looks so cute. This thing is like the the Diglett last time, uh, if you watched my last video, that flying Diglett, it just looks so cool. And this one is the same thing. Hopip kind of, instead of get, having its propeller, it uh, has flowers growing from its top, and then it has these kind of wing type things coming from its ear. So, and it just looks so so cool and it turns into a grass fairy type so that's really really interesting and I, I just love the design they included a normal hopip which turns into pink and then a shiny hopip which remains like it's a uh, normal shiny color but uh, then has these yellow flowers and I just think it's so so cool and it even has this little butterfly pattern on the back of it but yeah huge props to Fario P for that amazing design. Anyways, coming in at number three, we have an Alolan Espeon by Dark Leon. And uh, this thing is really, really nice. Um, I couldn't find a Alolan Umbreon design that looked this good. Uh, but uh, this is a psychic flying type. You can't really see the flying type, which is my main critique on it. Um, if it had like actual wings rather than just little tufts of wings by its ears, it'd probably work better. Um, but it's also cool how this thing has like a moon on its head rather than a sun. So it's more of a uh, kind of creepy uh, version of Let Espeon, if you, know what I, if, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I just think it's a very, very cool design and uh, great job, Dark Leon, on this. And number two is one I really like. I keep saying this, but this one I actually really, really like. And it is an Alolan Dawn fan by Devil D Man, uh, he was the guy who designed the Alolan Totodile, and this thing is a water ground type, and because uh, it gains the water type, and it just has like these flop ear flops that come down the side of its back, and I think it looks so so cool. I just love the design of it. Um, I can't really explain why I love the design of it. I just think it works very well, and apparently it uses those like flaps to kind of glide down rivers, because. You know, a lot of elephants do like have like use water and swim in water uh, a lot, so it makes sense for this thing to gain a water typing. And we need a water elephant Pokemon. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm sure that's a thing that a lot of people wanted, and uh, this thing would definitely like be enough for me at least uh, to f like match that category. Anyways, but great job, Del V man. I think this is a really nice design, and um, it definitely deserves the number two spot.
And then finally, for number one, is an Alolan Tyranitar, which was drawn by Austin Inferno, but the original concept was by the Instagram account Zy Guardian. But I liked uh, Austin Inferno's interpretation of it a little bit better, although you gotta play props to the original all the time, man, all the time. Anyway, so this thing, I couldn't find the typing of this, but I imagine it'd be a grass rock type. Um, or a grass dark type, but it looks more grass rock than like dar dark and uh, We already had a grass dark type, right? I think Trevenant was grass dark So it'd be cooler if we had a grass rock type um, Have we had a grass rock type? I feel so we have okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything. I feel so we have but uh and <laughs> anyways I think it would be a really really cool design. I'd be so down. I love like the tufts of grass uh, that for that are forming around his body and like the little saplings growing on his head um, And the tail that it has as well. Anyways. Yeah, so that is the top 10 Johto forms um, If you guys leave a like and uh, that would be much appreciated and if this gets enough support I'll make a Hoenn forms one. There are way more Hoenn forms than uh, That people have done as fan arts because I don't know why it's just like uh, maybe because Oras recently came out but there weren't too many Johto forms. I had to look pretty hard to find them. Um, but they were still pretty nice, I think. And uh, yeah, so if you did enjoy this, be sure to check out all the artists I mentioned. Leave a like, as I said, and subscribe if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. The name's Pix Plays, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!